Okay, we're live. All right, I would like to call to order the June 18th Yes, this has actually been advanced from our general fund 
one to our uniform school supplies fund, 009. And actually, the particular cost center is the junior high. Um, the reason we're doing this is this is where fees come into, but we've actually are buying six years worth of um, math curriculum for books because of the discounted price. So we're advancing 127000 to that fund, but we repay from that fund as fees come in over the next six years. So all of this is a nice discount on the end of the fund. Pioneer Automotive to all Warren County Career Center at Atrium. 
two across programs, a mini fridge, an EKG machine, which costs lots of money, so we were very happy with that, and a sharps unit. Uh, our OSB legislative liaison gave an update on the kind of legislature budget. Uh, our student achievement liaison gave a report on several adult students' accomplish accomplishments in collaboration with the high school. And I want to talk a little bit about, we had a golf outing, and uh, we raised $70,580. And that money goes completely to help pay student fees. So uh, there are lots of kids that come to the career center that can afford the student fees, and this is something that we do. And I never play golf, and I really am awful, but I always play. I always play this one, so that was really something. And I have one more thing. Uh, Project Lead the Way is for uh, aspiring engineers, and um, the Lebanon satellite teacher gave a dinner last night. And he invited some students, and this is something we've never had before. He invited students who are in college now that went through that program. And we had, let's see, one, two, three, four, six students, and they were in all well known uh, colleges Purdue, uh, Emory Riddle, uh, Ohio State. Uh, I can't remember all of them, but uh, they're all doing well. And uh, one of them is on his fifth year, so he's already he's got a job. So, uh, and doing well, so we were very proud of them, and it was a great accomplishment. So satellite farmers from the first center do well, so we're very pleased. And that's all I have. So, when is our next meeting? July 27th. July 27th, all right. And now we have the uh, legislature. Um, legislatively, uh, our final biannual budget is in the process. Uh, the clock is ticking, and uh, because this only happens every two years, maybe we'll have to do a little chapter review about what really is going on. <laughs> so, uh, both houses of Congress have input, and they back and forth. Finally, that goes to reconciliation committee, and then that goes back to both houses. And after all those things come together, it goes to the governor, which that's where it's at right now, and he's supposed to sign it by midnight tomorrow night. It's a two-year budget. I really can't comment. I don't want to comment on what's in there because uh, it can change. Some of it may be good, some of it may be bad, but uh, we're down to the wire on this thing. Uh, so, uh, June 30th is a deadline for it. Since this only happens every two years, I thought it might be wise just to do a little, a little talk about it. So, uh, there's some numbers in here. Um, so, uh, we'll just wait and see what they are. I hope it treats us well, but uh, we're just going to have to wait and see. And uh, thank you for that report on the uh, engineers. Uh, I know of at least one civil engineer who was highly involved in the railroads that uh, may uh, soon come about. So that was very uplifting. Thank you. All right, Mr. Hamilton. Well, yeah, I did want to comment briefly that uh, on June 16th, uh, Pam Coates and Sarah Gonda and I met with the uh, Harlan Township trustees regarding the closure of the public school. Uh, the closing ceremony was on June 11th, if I remember correctly. It was uh, well attended. In fact, I think Mr. Gonda was there from start to finish. Uh, well, so we appreciate that. Uh, so a very nice ceremony, uh, well attended. Uh, but as you can imagine, and as we've discussed before, the community of Butlerville and Harlan Township generally uh, very concerned about the closure of the community school. So it's, uh, it's heartbreaking, uh, it's a difficult decision, but that's where we are right now. Uh, the school is closed, will not be reopened. Um, and the reason for our visit to the uh, trustees meeting, and there were a number of residents there as well, uh, was to provide information about the process of how a school district disposes of school property real estate. 
real proud. Uh, so we went through a very brief presentation. Uh, so my thanks to Ms. Goats, uh, who gave uh, great information about daily school operation and uh, uh, in particular that building, which was her at one time. Uh, and also to Mr. Gunn, who is our resident expert on this entire process uh, and uh, what we will be facing as we go through uh, the next weeks and months and looking for a new home for this real estate. Uh, I think the meeting went very well. I think it was uh, very productive. Uh, one question did come up that uh, Regina uh, talked about previously, and there was a concern brought up by residents about what happens to the school now that it's closed but before it gets transferred to a new owner, and the concern had to do with uh, will the district continue to upkeep uh, the property? And I think with, between the three of us, we gave uh, a bit of an answer, um, but uh, if you want to elaborate on the sure. rest of that. Yes, after, um, after we spoke, I checked with Mr. Gene Lake, he is our director of support services, and he um, affirmed that we will keep all the uh, utilities on, electric, water, heat, and air, um, that our maintenance personnel will stop by the building at least once a week to check and make sure that everything is still working properly within the building and there are no concerns. And then the exterior, we will still maintain landscaping and exterior of the building as long as it's our, you know, part of our um, real estate. Right, okay, so there is a plan for ongoing. A plan for ongoing, yes, absolutely. Terry, okay. um, I'm going to ask you a, a curveball question. Uh, how long did this process take? To uh, sell a piece of real estate, so it's, it depends on which avenue is chosen um, between community schools, other municipalities, or an option for a private sale. Um, you do, of course, do one before you do the other. Um, in that order, actually. Um, so it just depends on who's interested, how long you think. Um, you have to have an option, you have to have an to see where there's going to work market value and so on. So this could be potentially a good few months. It could be a few months, yes, absolutely. So that, I think that's where the uh, uh, we're about to build some concerns. Sure. Uh, obviously, they don't want that to be 